Welcome back to the Car Boutique's Detailing Channel. My name's Andrew. And I'm Carl. Okay, today we have got another wax. Now, you saw at the end of the year, myself and Carl's focus this year is going to be primarily on waxes and ceramic coatings. Now, if you've seen a lot of our podcasts, you will see that I repeatedly talk about um, the wax that we're going to be looking at today, which is HB Source Banana Cotado. Repeatedly in the last three years, it's been in my top three waxes. So it was about time really, because you haven't had a play with it. No, I haven't. Uh, Carl's used a few HB Source waxes, but this, in my opinion, is one of the best waxes out there. And it's from arguably the, um, one of the, or the best wax producer um, that I know of, um, HB Source um, Custom Wax Creations. So it was about time I did it. So today's video is gonna be about HB Source Banana Cotado. Okay, so today's vehicle is a BMW in a beautiful shade of blue uh, 330E. Um, I asked the owner to leave this as mucky as possible and they've, uh, they've achieved, look at this, absolutely horrible. All right, so it's a, a good opportunity for us to give it a safe maintenance wash. Um, as always, we're gonna do chemical decontamination. Then myself and Carl will look at whether it needs clave and whether it needs any element of machine polishing or we'll go around and do major scratch uh, removal. And um, we'll probably use some kind of pre-wax cleaner and then we'll take it inside uh, for testing of this wax. So a nice dirty car to show a good before and after. So uh, let's do the maintenance wash.
Okay, so that is the car comprehensively washed. Now, once again, we were only planning to do a wash, but once again, we can't help ourselves, can we? Um, we saw all the swirls, so as you see in the video, we've done a full maintenance wash. We've done chemical decontamination, mechanical decontamination. It was the majority of a one-stage pass, wasn't it? Not, not paint correction, just to basically give the paintwork a bit of pop. And then we've gone round with a paintwork chemical cleaner uh, to give a good foundation for this wax. So. We are now on to really uh, testing this wax. Okay, so Banana Cortado by HB Source. Now, um, I've been a great supporter of HB Source um, for a long, long time. And in fact, the majority of the Carbotix waxes um, have been from HB Source. Um, now, this wax um, is a blend of waxes with natural oils, and it's also got banana oil infused. So hopefully, Carl, when you're applying this, you're gonna get an orgasm, a symphony of banana smells. Okay, why are you laughing? <laughs> it was the orgasm moment. Everyone likes a good orgasm, okay? So um, it's a nice, nice, nice pot of wax. It's a beautiful pour. I've taken a photograph. There's no shrinkage, there's no cracking. It's a harder wax, so um, it's not like a lot of these heavy solvent-based waxes that we've been using, which is really oily. It's more akin to a more natural wax. Um, now, I've used this for years. You haven't used this yet, have you? No, no, I, but I have used some of, uh, obviously, uh, Hugo's waxes in the past. And it, it, it's an experience that I would suggest that any wax lover needs to get into. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain that at the end, why I think this is beyond wax. This is not just about buying a wax and using it, but I'll explain that a bit more. So we're gonna reposition the camera and we're both gonna test it. Um, I know what to expect, Carl doesn't, so you're gonna get two points of view. Um, no talk over, this is live narrative as we're doing it, so uh, let's start. Okay, so we're going to um, put it on this panel um, just to show you the consistency now with every wax, especially this one. It is the thinnest, thinnest coverage. And we, I keep repeating that um, over the videos. Okay, you don't want to waste um, the wax and also any additional wax you put on, um, it's just a waste because you're going to be taking it off. So it's only the wax in contact with the paintwork you're interested in. So we've got a wax applicator. <clears throat> and as you can see, it comes off really, really easily. Now, I tend to go in straight lines, but what I've found with this wax, to sort of guarantee that thin coverage, and you're gonna do yours, take your cells, take a lot more time over this. A lot, a little dab goes a long, long way, and you're looking for that thinnest, thinnest coverage. Nice and easy to apply and then at the end what I do is I just go over in nice straight lines almost like a ceramic coating leveling it you're really looking for the thinnest thinnest coverage of wax and the smell is absolutely gorgeous nice and easy like I say it's not the oiliest but it's oily enough to give you enough work time just to apply your wax. And I'm holding the pot right next to my face and it's absolutely lovely. Now the instructions say sort of leave for five, 10 minutes. So we're gonna leave this for 10 minutes. We're gonna do swipe tests and everything, but I'm, in, I'm interested to see what you think, Carl. So I'm gonna hand the pot of wax over to Mr. Hampson and see what he thinks. So whilst uh, Andy's been uh, readjusting the lights and obviously taking the camera, I've literally just been sat here for the last five minutes sniffing this wax and I, I could do it all day. It is so, so pleasant. I'm really looking forward to starting to apply this one. So as Andy said, obviously thin layers, you don't want a lot. Personally, I like to just dab it around the place so it's even as much as I can and then go into Um, so yeah, so Andy sort of alluded to the fact that I'm sort of new to the, uh, the sort of the natural wax um, sort of products and my, lim uh, me, my sort of limited sort of knowledge of this, these, these uh, waxes is they are, they do tend to be harder to spread around than say uh, the synthetic ones just due to the natural waxes and all that. but. 
I'm really enjoying spreading this one around. It's it's not the easiest I've spread around, but I'm I'm really really enjoying it. That is really is nice. So I'm going quiet because I'm just. Those that have watched previous videos, they know when it comes to waxes, for me, definitely, it's all about the experience and I'm generally the, the smell. So like Andy said, uh, we're, I'm going to finish off this, this part of my, uh, the panel for, uh, that I'm doing and then we will let this to cure for about five to ten minutes before we buff it off. Okay, so we've left this 10 minutes, we've done the swipe test and it's all clear underneath. Now with any wax removal, don't just use one cloth, okay, because you are basically trying to migrate um, all the sort of oils and the excess wax into your microfiber, so you don't want to saturate it, then you'll just be chasing wax around. So get yourself uh, three or four uh, microfibers um, and take your time with it. So remove this of this wax, is as easy as that. So get the majority off, flip your microfiber and just final buff. And that really is effortless. If you are finding it grabby after five or 10 minutes relative to humidity and temperature, you've either put too much on um, and it's sort of binding to that wax. Um, what you can do is just go over it, take that crust off, come back 10 minutes later and then it'll be um, easy to remove. So you've heard that top tip before, but that is nice and easy. And I am seeing that paintwood pop. This color of car is beautiful. Um, so Carl's mic'd up. See what you think, Carl. All right. Let's see if I've put too much on. <laughs> I haven't. Oh. Thoughts? As, as long as I can see some areas where I may have just over applied a bit and I'm grabbing, it's a bit grabby, but where I've really been sparing, it is just. just gliding. This now we've had a conversation, we don't think there's any fillers in this wax, it's not that kind of wax, no. it is a show wax. Sorry, I'm just, I've gone quiet because I'm enjoying, enjoying the moment. Yes, that, and that's what it is, especially for someone like yourself who's a super keen enthusiast and a bit of a, a wax collector. It's, yes, it's all about making the colour pop and applying that protection, but you, as we all know, because we've, we've heard you on the videos before, you, you are looking for that full user experience, Absolutely. aren't you? Absolutely. It's, it's, for, it for me to really enjoy that, it has to be every element in it, of it being an enjoyable moment for me. And yeah, I've really enjoyed this moment with uh, Banana Cotardo. So right, we have now left the wax to cure for about four hours, and now it's time for one of our favorite bits, hydrophobicity test. Easy for you to say. All right, so we're gonna now check out the beading on our, on our HB source wax. So let's get a good spray on here. Uh, 
uh, in a minute. Andy will uh, pop up some uh, photos of the close-up of our beads. But we seem to have some great height, uniformity to our beading. So really impressed by that. So definitely can't complain on that, considering it is a show wax as well. So we'll go straight on to sheeting and we'll see how we get on here. <laughs> and I'm laughing again because Andy always seems to stand in that place where he's going to get himself wet. But that is sheeting lovely off the car. I say, that's pretty impressive. Okay, the car is finished. It is looking stunning. I am really, really happy with this. I, I, I generally, generally, is, I'm really, really happy at how this car has turned out. We made the right decision to clay it and machine polish it yeah, without absolutely. a doubt. Really, really. Um, it made the paintwork pop and it gave a flat sort of uh, level playing field to really test the wax. So, um, <laughs> a wrap up, a summary. We haven't chatted. Um, you're getting two opinions. So, um, this time, Carl, um, you can go first. So, your, your honest thoughts. Right, so as I, as I talk, every time when I talk about wax, uh, I talk about the experience. And that's one of the biggest things when it comes to me, is it, how much I enjoy the whole wax experience. And to be honest, it's been superb. Uh, let's talk about the scent. The scent is just magnificent. It's apple, I, isn't it? It's apple, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I want to call you something rude, but I won't. No. Uh, the scent is amazing. That banana smell is something else. Um, experience putting it on, do you know what? Considering it's a natural wax and it was my first time dealing with one, actually, it, it was quite easy to apply. You know, not as easy as synthetic wax is, but certainly not difficult. Um, removal, as long as you are sparing, it is an absolute breeze to take off which however, is what it says on the instructions yeah, use sparingly absolutely. like any wax absolutely <clears throat> however there was a couple of areas that i may have just been a little bit overindulgent with and i felt that grabbiness kick in um just on that one we found the 10 minute point in what we're looking at probably about 15 degrees in here yeah was so, on the money wasn't well, it, it <clears throat> definitely was yeah. so so good descriptions there um when we look at it from a hydrophobicity test it, it the beads were fantastic i was i wasn't expecting Fantastic beads because it's, it's it's a show wax, and so I, I I was pleasantly surprised by the hydrophobicity. Obviously, with that being a, a show wax, I am not sure on how the longevity will be on this. I'm sure we'll get feedback from the owner on how long that that's going to okay. last, and we will relay that back to you. So for me, this is a wax that I would happily spend money on. For me, definitely. Good. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Good. Okay, so um, I've been using this for two or three years. This is version three. There is a version four out at the moment, but I'll come back to that in a second. Um, this has repeatedly been in my top three waxes for the last two or three years, and I'm, I'm hoping um, you'll, we've articulated why. Um, a bit of repetition of what Carl said, and the smell is, um, is, is gorgeous. Ease of application and removal is excellent. Um, 10 minute cure time, we, two of us pretty much got around the car in 10 minutes, and then you so see you're then coming back and removing it, which is really, really, really good. Um, like Carl said, it's a show wax. However, the hydrophobicity was on a par with quite a few of the uh, waxes that profess to be bead, bead monsters. Um, now, in terms of longevity, it is a show wax, um, but this is a show wax on steroids because it's making your, your, your paintwood pop with the aesthetics, but I can vouch for this lasting between sort of four and six weeks um, on a car that I previously applied on, um, washing it every week with, with pH neutral stuff. So take care, use your products um, with um, protection of the LSP in mind, and you'll get a good longevity, certainly in between maintenance washes um, and I know other people have had around about six weeks as well which for a show wax is really really good now some of you might be thinking where you get um, this from this is where it gets a bit tricky now um, HBS Hugo's a bit of an enigma um, he's like Charlie in the chocolate factory where nobody ever goes in nobody goes out his website periodically goes down over Christmas because he's doing projects. So um, the best way to engage with the HBS community is to join their Facebook page, and I will leave a link to that at, um, um, in the video description. 
get involved with the conversation and get to know the HBS community. That is his, uh, Hugo's main portal for telling you about products. Loads of um, specific uh, product releases and when the website opens, you may have an opportunity um, to buy this. But we're both in agreement. If you haven't experienced the HBS wax, and this is the main reason why pretty much this is the first wax I've, uh, review I've done of HBS wax, Give them a try. Wax Nutter's a brilliant um, wax. Uh, Banana Cotado's a, 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 a great wax. The Scorpius range of waxes are high-end waxes for a Bead, quite a realistic... Beadmeister. Beadmeister is a bead monster. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and if you want me to do any, or want us to do any of the HBS waxes, tell us which one. I've got them all, and, and we will quite happily um, do a review. So, um, yeah. So what we've got to do now is show you the fruits of our labor. Now this is a show wax, it's all about gloss, it's all about in, um, enhancement of aesthetics. We're going to take the car outside and I'm sure you're going to be impressed. But for a show wax, fantastic. A show wax which is going to give you longevity, fantastic. User experience, fantastic. And that is why you could call me a fanboy if you want, okay, but it's justified. The packaging, the pour, there's no shrinkage, there's no cracking user experience it does what it says it's got to, it, it it does on the tin and if you engage with the hbs community on facebook it is uh, it's a wonderful place to be because all these waxes are poured made labeled everything start to finish by one person in his wax cave in scotland and i love that enthusiasm that passion he, he doesn't just sell these as a business it's a real passion for wax makers and impressing people with what he makes well you you can tell how much passion this man mm. has in, in the fact that when you get a pot, okay, it comes in a beautiful bag, comes it, in a box, it, there's extra stickers in there. The bag, it, the silk it, bag, just, it, the it, number, the sign. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole experience when you get some from HB. Yeah, all right, and, and like Andy already said, that I've not seen a wax come out of his that has been dipped, cracked, shrinkage or anything else like that they have all been perfect pours so if you're a, a wax collector wax lover yeah you, you have to give this man a, a, a go because he is an absolute wax genius totally agree totally agree okay so uh, enough praise enough praise we're going to have a quick spin round inside we're going to take it outside hopefully the sun's sh uh, still shining really really happy with this so top work as ever yep and uh, watch out for the next video